You're getting better at this. I'd go even quicker if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from up here, most definitely. Yeah, like when we were looking for the Golden Dragon and the avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember, the chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember, though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. Something strange about those rocks. And there's something on the bottom. We'll see what it is. something? Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. I must see it. Diving in after all? No, I shall cast another spell, to see through your eyes. Now relax. I see Fultia Badem Ein Eichte Illivade. That is no meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks and everything lying within the tele- I su fortia bedem ein eichter illivaid. Transverse cut through the pelvis. Surgical precision. No conventional weapon can do this. Transverse cut through the pelvis. Surgical precision. No conventional weapon can do this. Silver. Pearl encrusted cutlery. Ship belonged to someone awfully wealthy. Amos was no pauper. It could very well be his ship. Only found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the gin. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Ah, oh, no, not another portal. Stop whining. One, two...
Look, we must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this, Jin? But you already know. A Jin's power is priceless to a mage. That I know, but I also want to know how you plan to use it. Wouldn't go to these lengths if it wasn't something important. You're right. It's important. Even very important. <sighs> how long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us. Fifteen, twenty years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other. But I can never be certain if it's a true feeling, or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it. This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. Why would you want to do that? To see what it's like without it. To see if we'll still matter to one another. Or if we'll be like two strangers. That myself many times. You see, we're just a step away from learning the truth. Come, let's search the ship. Seems Amos was quite the eccentric. Asking the Jinn to lift half his ship to a mountaintop. He didn't necessarily. Jinns are inherently mischievous. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it in doing so. In that case, I'd appreciate it if you didn't wish I'd disappear from your life. I've yet to decide how to word it. We should explore the ship. Interesting. Wonder what this means. Mystery of mysteries, Agnes of Glanville. Elemental Empires, by Jean Batista. Mage must have slept here. Hmm, nothing interesting here. Nothing here. This means nice shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. Blood. Someone was dragged across the deck. War left this mark when the ship suddenly tipped to one side. Yen, I think you should see this. What do you have? It's Amos. Looks exactly like the etching in the book. Except his head was intact there. If he died while being teleported, Seal might still be on him. Behold. Bravo! Come to the deck. I've an idea. Holds preserved the corpse. Hmm. Died from head trauma. Bookcase cracked his skull. Must have been a hard landing atop this mountain. <laughs> 